Well, I mean, we're six months into the show and it was well overdue, Chip Chat. Six months? It took us six months. Took six months to arrive at this chip destination. I thought it was going to take us about six minutes, but here we are. Mm. Glad we're here as well. What a beautiful sight it is. Overdue, but we've arrived. Mm. Uh, we also asked the question, and I can't believe this took six months either, what the pork? <laughs> Why the pork? It's a question on everyone's lips, isn't it? Uh, where the pork? Is I mean, the, the pork, pork indeed? in the Nova kitchen, more specifically in our fridge? So we asked the question. Mm. What do you find in your work fridge? Oh, uh, let's get straight into that with mum brawls. Crazy mum brawls at supermarkets. Oh, my God. Get your head around this. There is a baby in Tamworth who I think, oh, my God, I cannot believe what your mother just did. And I'm not into judging and shaming other mothers because I'm the first to put my hand up and say I'm not perfect. Mm. But never in my lifetime have I been at the supermarket, just at Woolies, buying a barbecue chicken. Yeah. Seen a brawl unfold and then hand one of my babies over to a stranger <laughs> and then proceed to sprint over and start throwing punches and kicks and getting real heavily involved in the brawl. It just doesn't sound like something that's actually happened. It is. <laughs> I saw it on the news last night and I went, did she just, did that woman just hand her baby over to someone so she could get involved in a fight? Yeah, new meme. It's not hold my beer, it's hold my baby. And this thing's gone viral. And the worst thing is it paints a really poor picture of our country as a whole because it's like Aussie mum hands over baby so she can join <laughs> heated supermarket brawl. Yeah, that's going to go overseas and they're going to be like, and then she jumped in her kangaroo <laughs> and hopped on home. <laughs> um, it is extraordinary stuff. If you haven't seen I mean, I don't want to, you know, boost this, pro- this, you know, thing. What's that called? Post. <laughs> But it is a sight to behold, uh, behold, Andrew Hayes. If your wife came home to your car and said, oh, she never guess what happened at Woolies today. You wouldn't believe. We wouldn't believe it. You so, genuinely wouldn't believe it. This fight started and I just really wanted to have my say in the fight. So, mm. you know, I just handed Lottie over to a stranger and yeah. just ran up and really got aggressively involved. Yeah, and Lottie's almost three now. <laughs> and the strangest part was she was in the corner going, get her, mum! <laughs> get her, mum! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you be proud of your oh, I don't think so. Just chaotic scenes. Um, take a listen. There's a fair bit going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, oh, Louise. I think I know what's happening on happening here as well. Macona caramel flavoured coffee. Oh. Oh. Your stock standard price is about twelve ninety five, but sometimes it is a special where it goes to six ninety five. Absolutely goes anarchy. off. Absolutely. Oh my god, well in shopping plaza. Oh yeah. Just this sort of anarchy. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes sometimes that, you know, beautiful Biscoff spread. Yeah. <laughs> you know that gorgeous Biscoff spread that you can have on your toast? It's delicious. Yeah. Sometimes they run out of that. Yeah. And all of a sudden you're like, Hold my baby. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> I also understand that it's happened in Tamworth. Yeah. It's a build up, isn't it? Isn't it? Because uh, I'd probably be a little bit angry too if I was listening to this every five minutes. It is the home of the Country Music Festival. We're the boys from the bush and we're back in town. Oh, not Lee again. <laughs> Once again, it's Lee Kernahan. Hold my baby. Uh, hold, hold my, my baby. baby. I've got some punching to do. <laughs> oh, not Slim. I love to have a beer with Duck. Actually, don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> My pop used to sing this. Yeah. Let's go out of this one, I reckon. Yeah. What do you reckon, Abs? Yeah. What's wrong with Lee or Slip? Mm-hmm. 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 Piped out of there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also, isn't that Lee Ken again? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Have a beer with Duncan. Because Duncan's me, mates. You. All right, let's do some punching. Hold my baby. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen or heard was your announcement yesterday <laughs> because you, my friend, are having another baby. Oh, that's nice. Should we recap? Yeah, go on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's peel back the curtain. You've been sitting on a little secret, Andrew Hayes, haven't you? Uh, I do have a little secret, so... Oh, I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't be a creep about it. No, we do We do have another baby on the way. Oh, yeah, which is a bit of fun. Yay. Which is a bit of fun. So it's going to be our third. Yeah. Um, so Cara is almost 22, 22, 23 weeks pregnant. Yeah. Uh, we've got a little boy on the way. Oh, my God. Yeah. It is really nice. So oh. Lottie, Henry, and yeah. little question mark boy. Little LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> you would too. But I am so happy for you. You have such a beautiful little family and I know how much Kara and the kids mean to you. So to add to that is just 
abs- um, chills, yeah. goosebumps. Thank so you. happy for you. Do you know what I can reveal? The, I actually can reveal the name as well. Oh, yeah. Really? So we're going to have a little boy, and his name will be Nova Boy. <laughs> 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 He's got a heap of fresh hits and throwbacks yeah. for you guys. Yeah, young Nova Boy's jams. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, go get him, Nova Boy. Oh, yeah. As they say. Yeah. Uh, Running past the kids, too. Look, they're. Are they excited? I'm not sure. What do you think about having a new brother? But can you please say some? Are you excited about having a new brother? Be about the apple. Yeah, so all Henry's thinking about is me chasing him. Yes. And I don't know what the hell Lottie was talking about. Brother, Something to do with an apple? Big brother apple. Yeah. Maybe she thinks that, you know, the Adam and Eve story. Maybe yeah. that's what she was at the vibe. Uh, oh, maybe. I think she just had apple and peanut butter on her mind in that particular moment. <laughs> Um, to draw the curtain back, though, as well, yeah. and I've seen it twice now, um, and you know how I feel about getting in touch with my softer side? Mm. All of a sudden, it just sort of turns into one-word responses. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, good, yeah, no, nah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I can't I can't get my head around what happens through the birthing process. Right. I'm being dead serious. I cannot process what's going on. Not many people can. Oh, my God. Particularly the woman actually squeezing that watermelon out. Exactly it's right. It's harder for us to process. Trust me. What so, the hell's happening to my body? Oh, during Lottie, I had a quick peek down there because I was staying right up the top yeah. just to, oh, I was locked in with the car throughout the whole process, the whole labour. I took a quick peek down there the second time. I thought, well, how is this even possible? Yeah. And all the times that I complained about some of the things I had, and I've had some injuries. Oh, yeah. ACL, shoulder oh, reconstruction, God. ankle reconstruction. Poor Andrew. Do you um, have a harp there and all your sound effects? I couldn't, I couldn't train one time because of my ingrown toenail. Oh, was that bad? Jesus. God. And then all of a sudden, if you're, if you're a male and you've seen your partner give birth, mm. you have no reason to ever, ever complain about anything. And yet you ever. all still do. Oh, my gosh. Hazy, did you ever get given the where uh, where do we come from book as a kid? Uh, yes, but I got that for my thirtieth. Uh, I was going to say, I'm going to. Uh, we've got a copy at home. I'm going to bring it in, and that'll answer all of your questions. Yeah. I mean, when did the stalk stop turning up? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so big shout out to the mums out there. Yeah. Oh, quite seriously. Yeah. It's it's unbelievable. Oh, what we go and scary through, and terrifying. What we go through to reproduce small human people is astonishing. Yeah. Never forget that. Will not. And also never forget if it wasn't for women, you wouldn't even be here. Yeah. <laughs> so never forget that as well. <laughs> I'll remind you every day if yes, I need to. You certainly do. Every single morning. Have you checked out whatif.com's top ten winter weekenders yet? Oh, how good's a what if tip? Launceston's in there, Canberra, Cairns, Tweedheads. The book you went to Getaway on the What If app. What if it's Aussie for travel? The biggest breaking story this town has ever seen is huge. Just got valuable info. This is so juicy. Jody's juice. Well, a furious Drew Barrymore has hit back after being quoted in a new interview saying she cannot wait for her mum, Jade Barrymore, to die. How awful. The actress turned TV host blamed tabloids for the quotes, which originated in a New York magazine profile and then were picked up by the world's media. To all you tabloids out there, you have been f***ing with my life since I was 13 years old. I have never said that I wish my mother was dead. How dare you put those words in my mouth? I have been vulnerable and tried to figure out a very difficult, painful relationship while admitting it is difficult to do while a parent is alive. It's strange hearing Drew in that sort of tone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, she's normally so soft and light and funny, isn't she? Yeah. Um, not pleasant for her. Pete Davison, the comedian, didn't find it funny when Peter called him out for not adopting a dog. Um, <laughs> Peter came out and said it's tragic that Pete didn't seek out a borough-born mutt from a city animal shelter because a scrappy New Yorker with charm, personality and unconventional handsomeness could have been his perfect match. Oh, OK, Peter. Yeah, all right, Peter. Uh, calm down. Thanks. <laughs> OK. Anyway, that was Peter and this was Pete's voicemail response. I didn't adopt a dog. I just want to let you know I'm severely allergic to dogs, so I have to get a specific breed. I'm only not allergic to cavapoos and those type of dogs. And my mom's dog, who was two years old, died a week prior, and we're all so sad, so I had to get a specific dog. So why don't you do your research before you create news stories for people because you're a boring, tired f***. F*** you okay. and suck my d***. Whoa, jeez. End of message. <laughs> End of message. Oh. <laughs> 
And he comes back, going, no, no, wait, I'm still going. Can I just, um, that last little word, that was bleeped, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah good. I think so. Because I've just had an absolute heart attack on air. Oh, yeah. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> Juicy, indeed. Pete oh. Davidson. What is it with Pete Davidson do, by the way? Uh, he's God's gift to women, apparently. Apparently, but he, well, I, didn't, I didn't know. What's okay. going on? Can we go to Abs and then uh, News Red Abby? Can you, can you, you just tell us, well, what's going on with Pete Davidson? He, he uh, can, and I think has, had every single woman on this planet. He must have a really great personality because I don't see it. <laughs> yeah. And look, maybe he does, and that's what it comes down to at the end. But I don't know. He's had all these women, but to me, he seems like the nerdy kid at school who never really grew up. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> like, Abby, he was a, you know, yeah. Abby goes bang. Strange. Yeah, Abby goes bang, okay. Yeah. Um, Good luck you... cracking that one, Pete. <laughs> 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 Did you see Kanye West and his wife? Um, who's an Australian girl, Bianca Sensori. They attended a church service in Los Angeles. He was wearing this uniform, like a black shoulder padded t shirt and sock shoes. Of course he was. And she was wearing like a head to toe body stocking style dress, style <laughs> dress that covered her whole face. Anyway, social media users had an absolute field day. One was asking why she had a spare tire around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> it looked um, like her head was in a, um, a, a kitten bed. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah. Like one of the, yeah. Um, and someone else asked why she looked uncircumcised. So anyway, <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's the one. Very that's juicy. the one. Juice. Juice. Very much just an excuse to play some gold digger, though, please. Yeah, okay. Come on. Now, this is a banger. Thank you. This is a banger. Yeah, I think this was long before Kanye went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and very quickly, Live Golf has come to an agreement with the PGA Tour. So, very early days. So, this rift has been going on for years. It's been millions of dollars in lawsuits. It's caused acrimony between players like Phil Mickelson and Brooks Kepka, who signed lucrative deals with Liv, and then you had Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods who remain loyal to the PGA Tour. Anyway, apparently they're going to merge now, but one of the players came out and said, great to find out on Twitter we're merging with a competition we said we'd never merge with. Poor so, fellas. Uh, <laughs> they I said gonna, they're okay. They're going to be financially okay? Uh, financially, I think they'll be okay, but uh, I mean, it's all a big package, is it? Just whatever you're doing this morning... Think about the golfers, okay? Exactly. Yeah, keep them in your thoughts. Yeah, put put your mm. nine iron out for the golfers. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I mean, how good's golf in general? Just stay out of my way. Or you'll pay. <laughs> Listen to what I say. How about I just go eat some hay? I can make things out of clay and lay by the bay. I just may. What do you say? Yeah, that's what it's all about. Can you play the one I wanted you to play, please, but you've just gone rogue? Yeah, sure. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home. home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Ah, uh, yes. Happy good one. What an absolute institution that was. Yes, and what a joy golf is. All right, there you go. That was Jody's Juice. And that's Jody's Juice. What the fork? What the fork? What the fork is happening? a little segment we like to do where we ask what the fork and it could be anything normally it's sort of well it did evolve out of the fact that there's no forks in any given workplace in south australia ever but now it's evolved into just what don't you understand what you don't you get in everyday life and we've come across a bit of a conundrum here at nova so in the fridge in our kitchen for the last month has been a whole loin of pork <laughs> which brings us to this segment <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gone from what the fork to what the pork yeah wow <laughs> because Who saw that coming i don't understand for the life of me why someone has brought in a loin of pork into our staff fridge yeah i got <laughs> to, to the bottom of it so if I was to do an all-staff page at the moment, it would go something like this. Could the owner of the loin of pork in the Level 3 fridge please report to the studio to explain yourselves? Thank you. Yeah. Thanks in advance. That right. It's matter if you heard that for the first time. <laughs> Who's got pork in the fridge? And also, you're in my parking space, you know? Yeah, you know what disgusting. I mean? That's where I like to put my, my fruit. Real solid piggery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's prime real estate in the fridge. Isn't it? It shouldn't be soaked up with pork, and the juice gets there as well, and it gets that real pork scent and flavour about the fridge. That takes weeks to get out. And I feel like it, it, it is starting to get a bit tangy. Right. Because it's been there for the better part of a month. I just went and had a look at the loin of pork a moment ago, and there's no use-by date on it. So who's to say when that thing went off? Yeah, it's just stewing now in its own juices. It's not going to regenerate, is it? Camera guy Josh has threatened to chuck it in the air fryer today just to real cra <laughs> really crack all that sucker up. Jeez, that man will air fry anything. <laughs> Won't he? 
Jeez, he'd, he'd air fry his own hand if he had an opportunity, if he's hungry enough, and then eat it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> raises the question, what the pork? <laughs> and what have you found in your workplace fridge? What have you discovered? Science experiments? Things with mould in them? Yeah. I, last, um, this is unbelievable. Last week at my other workplace, someone that worked there in the kitchen roasted a whole lamb. Really? During the day. Geez, that's elaborate. For, for everyone? Was no, 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 no. I think there was a whisper that his, um, his oven broke down at home. So he just brought it in and <laughs> roasted up a lamb. See, that's next level. I'm not even comfortable doing that at my own house yeah. for the mess I'd make there. Although you, you're more comfortable at your workplace making your big old mess, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, you can get away with not cleaning it up and then people leave rude signs going, oh, yeah. can you please bring, clean your scripts up? Hey, guys, just a, just a reminder, let's keep it tidy on level three. <laughs> and then someone right back, yeah, it definitely wasn't us. Another person, yeah, it definitely wasn't us. We're not going to play this game. We're not going to play this game. Okay. <laughs> For goodness sake. 13, 13, 13, 20, 4, 10. What the pork? What have you found in your workplace, French? Let's go to Tamara from Mount Barker. Hi, Tamara. Hi, guys. How are you going this morning? Good. What's in your fridge? Not so much my fridge, but I go to work and I, I'm a cleaner. Um, and I, I have to clean out his fridge on, once a week. And there'll be mouldy cheese to rotten vegetables to rotten fruit. And then he likes to collect avocado Seeds. What? <laughs> what? Sorry. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, I think he likes to hoard things, I'd say. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so there'll be like a pile of like avocado seeds weekly. I have to take them out. Oh. And then there'll be like a pile of containers in there. I have to chuck them out. Um, and then it gets weirder. Like he puts, um, he cracks eggs into like a con- Tupperware container and just lets them sit in there. And then I come and then next week I tip them out and get rid of them. Wow. Yeah, that. Who, who's, no. Whose house are you cleaning? Is it Jeffrey Dahmer's house? <laughs> <laughs> weird, right? Very weird. Tamara, are you tempted to leave a note? Oh, I'm tempted to not go back, but I got to. Someone's got to do it. Oh, yeah. mate. Yeah. Keep your uh, avo- yeah, avocado hard. pips to yourself. I would have thought. Yeah, that's our motto. Yeah. yeah. Different. Oh. I just yeah wear gloves and a mask and straight to it. And oh, yeah. Just playing as I go. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. I think Tamara. Um, let's go. This is a familiar name to us. Keely, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are we? We're good, thank you. Now, Keely, oh, so, go I for it. I was just listening in, and you, you guys are talking about the fork on level three. Well, let's talk about level four. There is a garbage bag of an entire fish in our freezer. What? Okay, so this is upstairs. Just to paint a picture. So Keely works upstairs. There's two levels, level three and level four. Um, look, there's all sorts of issues on level three with the fridge. There's no uh, question. Body parts and all sorts of things just hanging out in our fridge. So your fridge is even worse upstairs. Yeah, 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 really bad. We've actually got, um, like, you know, bread that you can help yourself do to make, like, toast and toasties, as you know. Um, yeah, so that's just sitting right next to the garbage bag of fish. There's a whole fish. <laughs> An entire fish. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. And wait. you're and you're saying it belongs to David Penberthy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Come on, Pembo. I'm thinking I'm thinking it belongs to Sales and Pat, but I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, tidy it up, Pembo. Thanks, yeah, Keely. Right. Thanks for that. Let's take one more. This is disgusting. Hi, John from Port Wollonga. Good morning to you. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? We're well, very well, thank you. What did you discover in the work fridge? <laughs> well, it's not that I discovered it. It's I left it there, but um, look, it's not very nice. But I, I, on my first day at work, I bought this. Uh, I bought a chicken roll, <laughs> um, or a chicken wrap, I should say. Sorry, and um, I put it in the fridge. Forgot to eat it, and after after about I think it was about a week, I realised oh, I left that in the fridge, and I had a look, and I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to leave it in there and see how long it stays there before someone removes it. Oh so, so anyway, a year and a half later, I actually removed it because nobody was removing it. So it's like, oh God, <laughs> it was this genuine standoff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was genuine. Yeah, yeah. So, so John, <laughs> Look, it wasn't. It wasn't the nicest thing to be leaving in the fridge for a year and a half. But after a bit, I just thought, you know what? Let's see who moves it, and uh, no one did. So, so you, yeah, it was terrible. So you were in a <laughs> you were in a Mexican chicken standoff with yourself. 
With myself, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, and there's, ne- and there's never a clear cut winner in those situations. No, no. Hey, John, before we let you go, it's a lovely accent you have there. Uh, where are we where yeah. we come? Where are we from? I'm from Middlesbrough in the north of England. Oh, oh. jeez. Yeah, I've been I've been here 15 years, and uh, everyone's trying to get rid of me, but I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your chicken sandwich, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was picking up Scottish vibes, but that's going to be highly offensive now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Mark, the place where I'm from is probably about well, about 80 kilometres from Scotland, so mm, I'm, I'm sort of Scottish, but not. <laughs> but not at all. We'll take that. We'll take that. Yeah. Uh, good on you, John. <laughs> good stuff. Oh, wow. Jodie and Hazy, in with you. Yeah. Mm. Have we located our loin of pork owner? Yeah. What do you want? Just watch this space, I suppose. <laughs> Jody Nazy. Really, Are you telling me you built a time machine? Hazy's on this daisy. Oh, geez, what's that coming across the horizon? Yeah, it's a big hump. Happy hump day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Dirty, big, fat hump. A big, dirty hump. What's it doing there? Should we go over it? Well, we can't go under it. We can't go around it. So let's go through it. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, time for On The Stage. Let's take a trip back. 7th of June. Let's go back to 1990. Iggy Azalea was born in Sydney. Today is her 33rd birthday. Oh, yeah. Iggy. Mullumbimby's finest. Is that her real name, Iggy? I'm glad you brought that up, Joes. Here's Iggy Azalea's real name. Amethyst Amelia Kelly. Wow. Yeah. It's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Amethyst. Iggy's probably a bit easier. Yeah, Iggy goes all right. And she sings like this. Do wrong when you go there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I think that's how they talk in Mullen Bimby. I think it is. Uh, 1972, Grease the musical opened on Broadway. What well, could be Grease Lightning? Grease Lightning! Oh, wow. Not my cup of tea. No. Isn't it? No. Have you watched the movie? No, I'm talking Broadway. Oh, okay. No, no. anything musical, you and I. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, at least we're very uh, similarly tuned in that sort of department. 1974, Bear Grylls, uh, whose real name is Eddie Grylls, born in England today, is his 49th birthday. And there I was, drinking my own urine, even though I didn't have to. It's a bit slippy. <laughs> and that's my Bear Grylls impersonation. Oh, that wasn't bad. Yeah. I didn't know. Slippy that. urine tastes good. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's, a it's a man who drinks a lot of his own urine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sometimes you have to. It's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> what? 1982 Graceland, Elvis Presley's home in Memphis, where he died in 1977, was open for public tours. Oh, nice. Explore 120 acres dedicated to Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. And I was walking in Memphis. Mm -hmm. That's what that song was about from Mark Cohen. Yeah. Was it? I don't know. I'm not sure. You're telling the story. Look that up. And so far, it's not adding up. There's an asterisk behind, uh, next to that particular fact, so maybe look it up. Uh, number one song on June 7th in 2005 was We Belong Together by Mariah Carey. Nothing sus about Mariah Carey. Just a good, honest, fun-loving, easy-to-get-along-with person. Yeah. yeah. So there's no diva about her nah, at all. None whatsoever. She's just a dream, and isn't she? if you want to do yourself a favour... Make sure you YouTube that time that she went on um, television and she was selling things on the commercial network and yeah. she was absolutely off her nurry. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, hang on. James Packer just texted through. He said, oh, we can't read that out. <laughs> Love this. Registrations are starting to pump through as well via the Nova player. Our next handball blitz champion, the inaugural champion, is going to be epic. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. Had another school visit yesterday, and uh, we'll bring you all the latest news from that. That was a good, good, good day yesterday, no question about that. But if you'd like us to come out to your school, just register on the Nova Player. Yeah, do it. Thanks to our good mates in McGowan. McGowan Real Estate, massive supporters of local, making a difference all over SA. If so if you're selling your home, trust McGain and trust that this sort of weather is just perfect for consuming bulk quantities of chips. It's chip weather. Mm. So we're combining a segment we had yesterday, which was weather chat, and now we're doing chip chat. Yeah, it's a natural uh, progression, isn't it? Chip, you put those together, it's chip weather chat. <laughs> yeah. So we're asking this morning, 13, 24, 10, the best hot chips in Adelaide because news.com put out a poll, said KFC are the best chips nationally. We want to localise this thing and find out where's the best chips in our good state. Yeah, um, and look, for me, it's, uh, it's Chicken Chef on Main North Road. 
It's a long way to go from your house. Yeah, it's yeah. well, I don't really go there. So uh, Bruce Abernathy, who gets a lot of mentions on the show, he does. A lot yeah, of almost that. weekly. That's all right. Um, he got to the stage where he was driving. He'd go. He lives on the other side of Adelaide. He'd mm. go past Channel Seven and High Marsh to get to this place on Main North Road. Get us a big bag of chips. Yeah. He would get them specifically cooked. Yep. Cooked a little bit longer so they're a bit extra and crispier. Righto. And bring it back to the newsroom. Oh, this guy's, I tell you, I'm telling you right now, he, he's from heaven. He is. He's from the he's from the chip heaven. Do you guys do um, sort of any sport work in there other than you know eating a lot of pizza and chips? We and got beers? three three key key words for you: chips, beers, port. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what That's got. about it. All right, we've got some texts coming in thick and fast. Uh, Chicken chef by far. Yep. Uh, special mention to the Anglevale Fish and Chip Shop. Best chips ever. Thank you, Teresa, for that. Laura from St Peter's says the lion chips with parmesan. Controversial oh. choice. The parmesan yeah. on the chip. That's a heavy additive, isn't it? It is. Um, and also, select chickens, Parahill, Golden and Crispy, the best in Adelaide. There you go. Okay. Good stuff. That's You're it. on your mick from Compunda as well. 100% Macca's chips. You cannot beat them. Um, it's a solid, solid debate. Yeah. All good. I, I want to vote for burgers and beers at the avenues. They've got good chips. Yeah, okay. In, fully endorsed by the Oddie children. Yeah. What about what about when you mix it up and go a little bit of sweet potato chips? Thoughts? I like sweet potatoes. I make homemade ones. Like, must, they're not as good as when you buy them. Because that'd be the healthy version. Yeah, they are. They're very you make them healthy. <laughs> <laughs> they're far too healthy for their own good. Um, let's go to Chris in Kidman Park. Good morning to you, Chris. Are you a chip connoisseur? Absolutely. What have we got? Where are we going? We, uh, chicken Chef at Main North Road. Yes, that's the one. I think that's what we need to do. And I promise, this isn't some kind of Chicken Chef on Main North Road endorsement. No. It just happens to be falling into place for the good guys there on Main North Road. What do you like about them, Chris? Oh, they're absolutely just, they're just perfect. Yeah. Right. I can't wait to get them home. I mean, I, I live at Kidman Park, but I work up at Northgate, <laughs> and on my way home, I'll go pick up some chips, and by the time I've got home, they're, they're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mum used to always say when we'd get like fish and chips from the fish and chip shop that you had to open the paper to let the chips breathe, otherwise they went soggy. Which was really just a thinly veiled attempt from her to have some chips on the way home. Yeah, good one, Colleen. Yeah, well done, Col. Finally, everyone's uh, cotton on to that. Yeah. All right, continue the chat. Best chips in Adelaide. Send us a text, 0400 919 919. Uh, big show today, even bigger show tomorrow. Um, Handball Blitz. We're going to recap our little school visit, which was so much fun. Mm, really, really good stuff. McC- uh, McCain Pub Trivia at Home is back tomorrow, and we're going to pay some more of your bills. Make sure you register at the Nova Player. All right. Happy hump day. Enjoy. Good luck with the storms. Catch you tomorrow. Um, stay dry, as they say. Mm. And also, just a quick mention of our good mates at What If, and how could we possibly f- uh, forget the good guys at What If? <laughs> What's the best part about a four-day week? The long weekend. Jump on the What If app for hotels, motels, holiday rentals, and more. What If? It is Aussie for travel. Goodbye. Have a good day. Yeah. This is Jody and Hazy on Nova.